So this is an extra video for anybody running on Windows 10 Professional. And as I mentioned in the last video, you have a choice. You can either run with VirtualBox, which is basically what everybody else is doing, or you can use the advanced built-in virtualization features that are present in your operating system, and that's called Hyper-V. So which do you go for? Well, the first thing to say is that I think by default on Windows 10 Professional, Hyper-V is not enabled. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Windows 10 Professional computer, so I can't show you all of this, but I can show you the web page here. Now, you can find out if, if Hyper-V is en enabled by right-clicking on the Windows button, select Apps and Features, select Turn Windows Features on or off, and then you'll get this pop-up window here, and then there may or may not be a tick box alongside Hyper-V. If Hyper-V is enabled, then running VirtualBox, which remember is the Oracle program that I've advised everybody else to use, if you have Hyper-V enabled, then VirtualBox will crash and will crash horribly. You can't use the two things at the same time. I would advise you, if you are using Windows 10 Professional, then you may as well enable this option. I think you have to do a reboot after enabling it. But once you've enabled it, be careful not to use Oracle VirtualBox, otherwise you will have some horrible blue screens of death. Now, after enabling Hyper-V, there are some further steps that you will need to carry out. Again, I can't demonstrate this, so I'll point you to the blog, the URL you can see here. Again, here's a shortened version of that URL. And if we go a little further down, this is how to set up Kubernetes on Windows 10. Now, they haven't mentioned professional, but this really is just for Windows 10 professional. So, as you know, virtualization must be enabled in the BIOS. We've already done the switching on of Hyper-V. And then going a little further down, we're going to be installing Minikube in the next video. But there is an important step here. Now, because I don't have Windows 10 Professional, I'm not familiar with the, the reasons for needing this. So I'm really just parroting this back to you. But they're telling us you need to set up a new external network switch. And the steps are as described here. It's a simple process of creating a new virtual switch manager and fill in the values as they suggest here. So if you can do the same, and then when we go down towards the bottom, when we start up Minikube in the next video, then you're going to need to include some extra command line arguments. You need to specify the virtual machine driver, which is going to be Hyper-V, and you also need to specify a parameter saying what the name of that switch is that you've just created. So some awkward little steps there, but I suppose the point of all of this is that you're using the native support for virtualization on your computer. And I guess therefore it's going to end up being a more efficient process in the long run. I'm sorry it's quite complicated, but I hope you managed to get through this. If you do run into problems, do ask me a question. I'll do my best to answer if I possibly can. So that's Windows 10 Professional.